Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be a super quick mealtime video. Um, I was kind of toying with what to film and kind of drew a bit of a blank. And then I realized that last week we were struggling hard with what to make for dinner every night. So I thought I would fall back on a classic and film one that we like to have usually once a week, if not every other week. Um, usually we have it on a Tuesday. But it's a Wednesday today, so you can have it any night you want. Um, and that is tacos or some form of tacos. We love this meal because it comes together in under 30 minutes. I literally use one pot and one cutting board, and it's just so quick and easy. The kids love it. It's great to take the next day for lunches if you have leftovers. You can make it into nachos. You can make tacos. You can make taco salad. Like, you can literally do so many things with it. Um, and kind of the kids can make it into whatever they want. So it's very buildable. And I feel like for me, one of the most important things when it comes to dinner time is that the kids are going to eat it and that they have fun with it and like it. So I thought I would just share this one with you. Again, it's not really an original thing at all, but sometimes it's the classics that we forget about. Um, so yeah, come along with us and let's go make dinner. Hey guys, so before we even get started cooking, I wanted to show you this new pot I just got from our place. It has a little built-in spoon holder, a strainer. It is non-stick and oven safe, and it is one of my favorite additions to my kitchen. There is also a matching big boiling pot, and together the two actually replace 16 pieces of traditional cookware. I will link it down below, but I would definitely recommend checking it out. All right, let's get started. We're gonna chop up a bunch of stuff while our beef is cooking. And this one here is my absolute favorite salsa. It's peach mango and it's by PC Brand, so you can find it at Fortino's or Superstores. This is a great meal if you're pressed for time because it's really easy to do the chopping while you're cooking your beef. Say hi, helper. Hi. Chopping up lettuce. Normally I chop it up a little thinner if we want tacos, but in this case I was chopping up some lettuce for taco salad, so I like to keep it a little bit chunkier. I mentioned earlier that this pan is amazing because it has a built-in strainer, especially for things like ground beef that do tend to have a little bit of grease that needs to be poured off. This is just so much more convenient than using any other method. Time to add in some seasoning. I like to use one of these pre-made packets and then kind of spice it up with some of my own seasoning. A little bit of chili pepper, some smoked paprika, garlic powder, and then of course, salt and pepper. If you like it a bit spicier, you can also add in some Frank's Red Hot or Tabasco um, or chili flakes, but with the kids eating this, we wanna keep it mild um, because it's just easier to add those things after for us. While your sauce is thickening for the beef, I'm gonna chat a little bit about these protein wraps. We use them instead of traditional taco gels because they are just so much better for you. They come in a couple of different flavors, original and sea salt and pepper. And if you take a look at the actual ingredients, they have a really good um, breakdown between carbs, fiber, and protein. So we like to use them when we are trying to lean out. We have a trip booked in a few weeks, so we're replacing our traditional um, wraps with these, and you can also use them for pizzas. You can find them at most local grocery stores. So this is the lineup of all the things we like to put on our tacos. You can also make this into a salad um, or nachos. Looks delicious and almost time to eat. So 
So we have ground beef, tortillas with cheese, <gasps> lettuce, tomato, and avocados. You want some? You want some? You ready? Yeah. Excited. Okay, All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for stopping by to have dinner with us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I will link this amazing pot pan duo that I just grabbed down below. They are from our place and they are absolutely amazing. The pot and the pan combo do replace 16 pieces of cookware, just the two of them. So, um, and if you buy them as a duo, you do save a hundred dollars as opposed to buying them individually. I would highly recommend them. I don't get anything from you buying them. I just, I love recommending things that I absolutely love. So check them out if you are in need of some new cookware. Um, not only do they look great, but they are freaking amazing. So yeah, hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.